Welcome back everyone, I'm the Depressed Eeyore and this is Kingdom Death Monster. Let's go ahead and get started. Uh, we're going to be hitting year 22, which doesn't actually have anything too fancy for it. But it does mean the Watcher now has 22 toughness, which is going to be unpleasant. Um, let's go ahead and handle the... Settlement event. Cracks in the ground, I don't like that one. All right, roll 1d10, let's see what we get. Yeah, we're going to re-roll that. It's a settlement event, so anyone can contribute. Uh, we'll use... We'll use SIG. Uh, it's anyone in the settlement, so we can go ahead and just... We'll use this, guys. Roll used, and then we roll again. Hopefully, we roll above fifty percent. That's enough. Six plus. You find a sharp stone left uh, in the rubble, left in, from the quake. Gain one founding stone. So we now have two founding stones. All right, good to go. All right, and uh, we can't do any home endeavors, and we, but we get plus one to the result for night of nightmare training endeavors. Uh, we can also do vapor visions with the uh, the hunt shrine, and we can do um, scarification. I like how it's talking vapor scar. Oh, okay, yeah, I know what it's trying to say. All right, no worries there. Um, Should have done endeavors, but we'll go ahead and do that now. Uh, we have one tinker, so we're gonna have four survivors returning. One tinker, and then we got plus one population. Our population is 35 now, so we get three more endeavors. Okay, three more endeavors done. And uh, that's it, we can go ahead and get started. So, uh, first things first. Let's go ahead and innovate. So we'll just take uh, one, two, I don't really want another bow, three, put that back, go ahead and put that back while we're at it. Okay, and draw four cards. This will be pretty much our last innovation, so might as well. Uh, partnerships get sacrifice, scarification. Uh, I think I'm just going to get storytelling, which is going to add one more card to the box. Which will add records, but we're not going to get records in time. So there you go. Storytelling is going to give us another, or increase our um, survival limit to 10. So there you go. I'll grab a... Grab records. All right. Got that up and running. That spins one endeavor, so we're down to seven. All right, uh, we'll make some. Uh, we'll make a dry decanthus just to refresh the one we used. Go ahead and grab this iron while we're at it. All right, uh, next we need to uh, smelt. So I want to go ahead and spend an endeavor to smelt. Roll 1d10. 8. That should be more than enough. Uh, yes, spend, spend 3 scrap and add 1 iron resource. So I'll go ahead and get rid of that. So we'll go ahead and make a copy of this real quick. So now we're up to 4 iron, and we have to put these back on the basic resources. 
So we got that taken care of. We do have a love juice that we need to use, but we'll deal with that in a bit. Um, so we got four iron, and we need to get a total of 11 leather. 11. So we have four here. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'll spend an endeavor to get a hide um, from uh, pottery. So we'll spend an endeavor to get one leather resource from a hide, or from a, uh, sorry, a herb. So get rid of that. And that should put us at 11 exactly. So one, two, three, four, five from the from the herb. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Because you can convert a main into two basic uh, hide resources. So we'll do that. Undo that actually real quick. <laughs> undo. Uh, undo. Thank you. Not supposed to delete it. <laughs> uh, let me make sure I didn't. How many cards are left in this? So there's 18 here. Yeah, 21, so that's fine. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. It should be 19. Yep, okay. No, Nothing else is deleted. All right, 1, there's five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then there's the eleventh from the herb. And then we had to spend an er a an endeavor to convert to leather. So we'll do that now. And with all of that, plus the four iron, we can finish the rest of the lantern set. Boom. Done. All right. So with that, let's go ahead and get the the rest of the lantern set. So the neat thing about the lantern set, of course, is it gives you plus two to all armor locations, but also makes it so all your clubs have sharp on it. So you roll an additional one d ten strength on top of your usual roll, which makes it even more amazing when you uh, get a perfect hit and you essentially double your strength roll. So pretty, pretty beefy stuff. Um, so here's the gauntlets. And you get plus two accuracy with club weapons here if you have the right connections, which is easy enough to do with that. And the Chris. So yeah, with the full set, you can, you can make things happen. So literally you can do something like this. That will, uh, you get minus two movements, but you make up for it with, uh, you can make up for it with the Lantern Greaves. Unfortunately, getting those connections would take a little bit of work. Not a lot, but a little bit. So essentially with Monster Tooth Necklace and Bone Darts, you can add those to there, and that'll get you your movement back. Uh, and you become deaf and have minus one accuracy, but yeah, definitely an interesting little set there. And then, what is it, lantern armor? Yeah, honor arrival, survival up to the survival limit, so you'll max out no matter what. And then, um, yeah, all your clubs gain sharp, so not too shabby. Uh, unfortunately, I don't think there's any actual clubs in uh, in the blacksmith. Nope. So pretty much the only clubs we got to mess with is uh, Screaming Maces, and that's about it. I mean, I guess technically you can do it with um, Whistling Maces as well, but that's probably not the wisest decision. All right, cool. So full lantern set is done. We don't need. Um, so I'm probably going to fight the Watcher next session just go for broke uh, if we lose against the the watcher the runs over unfortunately but uh, 
that's kind of okay by me, one way or the other. So, uh, with all that said and done, what can we do next? We have the monster tooth necklace, we got all that, so we're good. So yeah, with all of this, plus a beacon shield, I would be sporting... It actually doesn't give plus armor to all locations, unlike the other sets. That's kind of different. But that's okay. Because it's still amazing. So it would be 8 armor in all locations, plus shield brings up to 10 armor to all locations. And if we have shrine active, that's 11 armor. Speaking of shrine, let's go ahead and do that. 1d10. 6. That's enough for shrine. And then I think the rest is, I'm probably going to save for drums. I think that's going to be our best bet. Um, I could try doing war paint. Actually, I might do battle paint. So let's do battle paint and see if we can get something from that. 1d10. Okay, battle paint is active. So the departing survivors will get plus one insanity and plus two survival. Uh, that leaves us with two endeavors left. Um, Gear-wise, there's not really much to play around with. I've used up literally all my um, all my hide. Um, I can go ahead and get another. I'm gonna go ahead and get another love juice. So we'll convert that into a love juice and add that. Um, that's using pottery, by the way. Um, that should be it. I'm just trying to think if there's really anything else I want to mess with. The answer is probably no. In any case, I'll go ahead and um, call this a video. And uh, this was a bit short, of course, but there wasn't much to do. Um, we kind of had our plan of action already, which was just to build shit. Um, oh, actually, a few things to check. I'm just making sure that I didn't activate a home endeavor. I did not. Yeah, we're good to go. All right. Um, I could spend the love juice. I might wait until next see, m next year, though, just to see if it, because there's not that much point at this point of um, giving myself two additional population. Um, boo, boo, boo. I feel like I'm a little all over the place today, but that's all right. Um, I think you might be able to pull retired people for this fight for the Watcher. So if that's the case, I'm definitely going to be pulling out the Masters. I believe you still get Mastery even after they die. Because uh, it's, it's an innovation, essentially. Um, but yeah, I think that's everything. So I'm going to go ahead and call it. I am the Depressed Evil, and this was Kingdom Death Monster 1.5. And if all goes well, I guess we'll be going up against the Watcher and seeing what the new endgame is. See you guys next time.